I want to take this opportunity to say that the day the international community, and we have to acknowledge that the international community is important in our liberation, the day they are serious and have recognized our victory, our resistance over the colonization of our territory by the French using the people of La Republique du Cameroon will be the day when Julius Ayok Tabe is released from jail. He will be the man they will negotiate with and he will be the man who they will hand over our territory for him to take our people home. And I'm not saying any more about Julius Ayok Tabe other than that he is the symbol of our resistance of colonization. He is, he shows the determination that we have for our liberation. He stands for the discipline. He stands for the seriousness. He stands for the integrity of our struggle. And I think the world have recognized that. And the day that he is released from jail will be the day that the international community is finally serious about taking us seriously as we take our struggle. I think that day is already here. I think that day is already here. And I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the men, women, and children who have sacrificed for our liberation. All those who have paid with their blood, who have been displaced in their homes, whose homes have been burned, whose uh, food crops have been destroyed, whose animals have been killed, who have been exiled into Nigeria, who are displaced and are living in the bushes and some in La Republic du Cameroon, which is also a bush, that all of these prices that we pay were not in vain. Our liberation was an honest, serious, and honorable struggle. And we should congratulate ourselves. We should, we should pat ourselves on the back. I, I, I always knew that our people have lacked leadership. And that's why we've been tossed from left to right by the international community. We obeyed the Germans. We obeyed the League of Nations. We obeyed the British. We obeyed the Nigerians, who the British used to colonize us. We obeyed the people of La Republique, who the French used to colonize us for close to 60 years now. But all of that led us to the to the devastation, the dehumanization that we have seen in our lives. It is something we should be proud of. The resistance we have put up, the total rejection of our complete, over a century domination by foreigners has come to an end, or is coming to an end, and Julius Ayok Tabe represents that now in our lives. And the day the international community um, takes his case serious and release him from the, from the um, false imprisonment that he suffered on her, our behalf uh, and has not blinked in his determination in stating what we want, that we deserve it, and that we are, <clears throat> and that we are determined to get it or die. The day they start dealing with this case seriously is the day that we know the international community is serious about resolving this issue and letting our people go. And that day has come. We fought a good fight. We fought an honorable fight. Um, um, we fought it with integrity. Uh, we fought it with honesty. And we fought it fearlessly. And I think... The one thing we are sure of is 
I there were free resistance forever until the last man standing.